Hey you guys, on the other side of the screen, it's the ice creams here, and, whoa, this hand is all weird. It's fine, it's my window. Today, I am recording on my computer, so that's why the quality looks slightly different. Today, I'm going to be attempting, keyword attempting, to do like creepy makeup, you know, for like, if I ever, my what I'm thinking about for if when if I ever have like a like a alter ego type of thing that she would have like a creepy um like thing going up the cheeks that are like cut and like sewed to, like her mouth is kind of sewed kind of like this you guys can see it kind of like that that is my goal no promises that it will actually happen like that. But I have my little li liquid latex here. I have some tissue paper. This to put the latex in. Palette. And makeup. Which I have on the floor because there's not enough room up here. <laughs> I also have thread and I misplaced the needle. But I have plenty, so I think I'll be okay. Well, let's get started. Are you afraid of the dark? Are you scared? <laughs>
this is only the third time I've actually done latex. It's kind of hard to talk. But it kind of reminds me of the Joker a bit. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like she would have kind of like based off the Joker, you know? And like just really creepy and like she inflicted the wound on herself to kind of um, make make people more scared of her than laugh at her, you know. It's kind of like how um, she also kind of takes after Auntie how he flips his throat. Gosh darn it! Oh, ow! <laughs> All over the floor. But I feel like I did pretty well. Am I evil enough for you? <laughs> this side, this side right here is my favorite. But if I get close to the camera, you can actually see the stitching. Well, that's it for this video. See you guys tomorrow. Sorry for the late upload. I wanted to do this a little later when my parents were gone and family was gone. So anyway, love you all. Bye.